So here I am reviewing Clifford the Big Red Dog. Why may you ask am I reviewing a children's movie? Well, because it's PG. And when a movie is PG as opposed to rated G, I'm wondering why. Because I have a two-year-old granddaughter that was watching this movie. I know nothing about Clifford the Big Red Dog other than that I used to just see him in children's booklets. I never even read one of his stories. Don't know anything about him. I just knew he was big. I don't even know if the dog talked or not. Like, like I knew Curious George. I knew a story and, you know, the man with the yellow hat. I remember the guy, the, the little, what was he, uh, a mouse author. I remember that. Barney the Dinosaur. I, You know, Barney had a movie, I, The Adventures of Barney and Elmo, Elmo and Grouchland. And, and this other kid, he looked like Charlie Brown. I think his name was Kalu or something like that. You know, uh, Blues Clues, Little Bill, Veggie Tales. I, those are all, I was familiar with them. Uh, Telly, Telly Tubbles and, and the Wizzles, uh, I don't, didn't know about that. Those were kind of weird. But, you know, um, just children's movies. Of course, everyone grew up on Sesame Street and Barney in the, in the 90s. And, you know, when my kids were young, that's what it was. And, and Clifford, the, the big red dog, was around, kind of the reading rainbows. But all of a sudden, it's, it's, they have a movie. So I, I watched part. It was on Amazon Prime. I said, let me see what it is that, that my granddaughter is watching. You talk about a sleeper? Oh, my goodness. How is this a kid's show? Maybe because the kids read the book or they saw the, the show on PBS. But, but it started, you know, uh, Clifford was a little little puppy. And uh, granted, I might be a little biased because animals don't impress me. Animal mo Beethoven, Turner and Hooch, Turner and Hooch or, or whatever, the, the movies with the animals talking, and it never, never tickled my fancy. The Lion King, even though that was kind of a... It wasn't animation, and they just, I, just, I don't, you know, talking animals in movies, uh, I just don't, I'm not an animal person, I don't hate them, I'm not, I'm not, in the thing, the dog fighting, when Michael Vick did it, it was terrible to see animals have to endure that, but I, I just, I don't know, I, if I see your dog, I don't want him licking me or jumping on me, and I don't want to touch your cat. Cats and puppies are cute, and that's the extent. I'll look at them, and that's it. But you know, hey, that's the, hey, you know that that's that's what it is for me with animals. So I don't want to watch them in a movie. If you see me a meme with an animal, I'm probably not going to either look at it or it's not going to be funny to me. Don't send me any videos or YouTube's of animals. They're, they're just not going to be funny to me. And so that's where I am with Clifford the dog. He's they're in an abandoned building. The mom's there. She has all her puppies, and the the dog pound comes to rescue them and take them somewhere. And Clifford is left there. He's the 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 pick of the litter, or the youngest one, or something. And he's stuck underneath a, a a towel or a big giant blanket, and they can't find him. So he's left there, and he's abandoned. And he's the only one that's red. And he's a regular puppy at this time. He's just red. I don't know if they did some color. With the film, I don't think they would dye a dog red, I, you know, with the animal uh, rights and, and whatnot. But he was red, and, and he was a little cute puppy. And so the little girl, I guess the little girl is a, the one that's in the TV show or the comic I mean, uh, excuse me, the uh, cartoons and the books. And the little girl finds him, and he's a puppy. And you know where this is going. The typical comical, he's going to grow big, the Uncle doesn't know about it. The mom's away. He grows big. He messes up the house. He's running around. Everybody's excited about this big, giant dog, and she loves him, and that's why he grows big, and it's just on and on, and it's just boring. And you, you know that, oh, she's going to end up keeping him. He's a big, you know, uh, I, I just, I, I don't see what little kids would get out of watching this show. I, I just spent an hour and a half watching this show, when I could have turned on PBS and saw all of that in 12 minutes' time. Why are we wasting money on movies like this? And I don't know why it was PG. Well, because the dog took a leap by a tree. Maybe that's why it was PG or he slobbed all over or 
Was it violent because he was running around and jumping and the bed was breaking and all that? Just a giant dog. Giant puppy. I'm not even going to rake this thing. I, I mean, I, I put this on the same category as Fantastic Four with things jogging around naked. Or Dark Phoenix. Messing a whole movie up. I, I'm, how could I rate that? I can't even rate, I can't rate this movie like I rate another kid's movie, like Toy Story. I, it, it, can it be possibly better than Buzz Lightyear? Maybe. I have to see Buzz Lightyear and figure that one out myself. But Clifford the Big Red Dog. If you have kids and they like Clifford, don't take them to see this movie. That's just my rant.